Alright, and as you can clearly see, sometimes it's not perfect. Like my aggressive sword swing. Uh, it, it looks like they're dancing instead. Look at him, he's got a ballet routine going on. So, yeah, depending on your prompt, sometimes you might want to play around with it. I guess that's why you have so many credits, but just bear that in mind. Okay, so I just thought I'd record this video really quick because it's not going to take long. But I just found something really cool that I think you should see. And then, so, basically what it is, is two things. So we've got Deep Motion, which is, I've made a video before for the um, video camera where you record a video and it does motion capture for it. But we got here, Deep Motion, turn words into 3D animation. So it's basically AI generated animations. So if, if you feel interested in this, I'll definitely recommend it because it will save you a lot of time. And for your free account, you get 200 animations every month, I believe. So obviously you want to sign up, but then I've already done that. So I'm just going to sign in, which I already have and go back and you'll end up on this page when you sign up. And then you basically just want to press your free subscription and then same for both if you want to do the video capture but so yeah 200 credits a month and then five character slots so obviously you can put your own character in there so i'm going to press launch and then to be fair i might as well select the character that we're using for the third person shooter project so i'm gonna Go ahead and see if I can change this character somehow. This is my first time using it, so obviously. Here we go. Upload models, and they'll be found here. Upload character. There we go. Browse files. So I'm just going to have a look here. And then also because the model of the enemy for me anyway is modeled off of the first character i believe you should be able to use the same animations for both characters it shouldn't actually matter so obviously they're all off mixamo and um it should use the rig that i've got for this player so but that's what i would assume but we'll find out All right, so that took about two minutes to get a character here. Um, how can I use him? Select character. Oh. Can I drop that on there? No. <laughs> so. Um, this is quite confusing. Maybe I should go on animations. No, these are two that I've made already. I'll show you one. Obviously, if you speed it up, it looks a bit better. Um, so, how I can use my player, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, select character. Surely I should just be able to drag that on there or something, you know? I don't need a full screen. Maybe I need to create a new animation. Aha! Now we can edit it. And then buy what my guy, so characters. No! <laughs> um, maybe you have to have the pro version. Oh, I don't know. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, you just got to scroll down. Found it. <laughs> there we go. Press that player. Apply and close. 
and wait patiently. All right, so now we've got my player in here, and then I want an animation. And obviously we've got jumping and all those already, so I'm going to not waste my 198 credits I have left, which obviously is loads, so I want to make the most of it. Um, so what we could have, I'm going to type in grenade throw, because we're going to have to have that later on for one of the episodes so generate animation and then you're gonna have to give it about up to a minute i say and then obviously i'll be back when that's done okay so now obviously it's loaded data and we should have it pop up in a second and we'll be able to preview two different versions or variants And as you can see, I cannot see anything. I'll click on it. Maybe if I edit the character, but I can't do that anymore. So I'm a bit confused what's going on here. When, yeah, obviously we're just T-posing right now. Um... Yeah, well, so if we click on here, we've got the animations on here. Let's try to reload it and see what happens. Because we might have to do something about the um, the character we're using. That might be a problem. We might have to get the animations from here and then add them to our player in Unity. So obviously we'll figure all that out. Obviously, my first time using this, so I have no clue what I'm doing. I haven't looked at any videos or... Okay. Oh, okay, because it's the project. Unity's open, and I'm using that file. <laughs> so, that was my problem. I had my Unity project open. So now it's reloading. Hopefully, we should have an animation. And obviously, you can see at the moment this is version 0 0.24.05. So you might experience some bugs, but I think my problem was Unity was open. So I'm actually going to close this page and then come back to it. All right, so now we're back on same motion, and it's using extra credit um, for adding my player, I think, again. But who cares? I don't know how much hope I have with this because things always seem to go wrong when I try to do stuff. But we'll see. Obviously, it's still not even loading. Oh, well, um, oh, oh man, I just see him come up and I clicked off it. <laughs> so what happens when you're impatient? Oh. Well, let's wait some more. Oh, look, I saw something. All right, I don't think this one's going to work, so we might be able to delete this. So let's have a look. All right, so because Unity Hub is still open, let's quit that. <laughs> I had some more errors just come up, so... Let's see if we can go on the one that actually was working. That will be nice. All right, reload the page. I've really messed this up. <laughs> Oops. All right, we're loading in same motion for the third time. 
Got nothing here and same ocean. This was all my fault, so. <laughs> It does take a while to load, but that could be on me as well. So I'm going to be patient and not click anything this time. And hopefully, there we go. Let's press play. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, that one's sick as well. Pulls the pin out. Alright, I'm definitely going to have to download variant 2. That's, that's really cool, actually. So what I need to do is go to variant to change this to an FBX and press download and it's going to give me a zip file here. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. And then I'm not going to show you how to put it into unity. If you want to know how to do that, go watch the deep motion video where I did with the video capture and then watch the end of that video and it will show you how to do that but yeah so thanks for watching like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video sweet